Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I am not going to the concert anymore because me and my boyfriend don't feel good at the same time, which is wonderful. So we sold the tickets, we're not going anymore, which is a bummer because I was really looking forward to going and I was really looking forward to like making a video for you guys and vlogging the whole day. However, I'm still gonna create another video for you guys, but it's just gonna be a little different. There will be a concert vlog coming up soon. However, I do have a bunch of new makeup just sitting here and I want to just test it out for you guys, create a look and just have fun playing. And I have a full face on today, just missing the eyeshadow and like, and not that much highlighter, but it's still there. And I just want to sit here, talk to you guys, play around a little bit, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you like this video. I'm really excited about this new Too Faced Pretty Little Planner right here because I'm a sucker for just having my whole life organized, and I'm also a sucker for makeup, so having these two together was just my cup of tea. And let me open this. Mm. It includes a little planner with gold lettering and it says best year ever 2018. Look at the little thingy. <laughs> so cute. And when you open it up, it has a little mirror. <gasps> mm. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Hold on, we're getting there. Oh, come on. Okay. So in here we have the makeup palette, and then we also have the little planner as well as stickers. And guys, I really love stickers. My boyfriend just got me like a whole sticker book, and I'm obsessed. These are so cute because they're makeup stickers. Look, cute. Anyways, we have like a little pocket here, little pocket here pencil thingy majiggy here and it came with a little Too Faced um, sample sized mascara that I want to try out because I have the waterproof version which I really don't like but I want to see if I like this one and yeah that's all for this thing let's just look in the planner a little bit we have pretty little fonts um, some cute little calendars really cute and it says happy seriously fun new year and I really like this just the whole 2018 to 2019 that is just so crazy to say but we're oh my god we're already there and that's pretty cool and now we're getting to the makeup palette when you open it up there's all these beautiful shades I like this one because it's pretty fun and I like the Christmas themed names like Elfie Selfie, Coffee First, Workshop, White Christmas, Secret Santa, Silent Night. It's just adorable. And I really want to create like a ooh, I really like Coffee First right there. That looks nice. So we're definitely going to use that one right there. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use every single shade. Well, obviously I'm not going to use every single shade, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use a lot out of this palette. I'm probably going to use one or two shades just to make this look, oh my god. Oh, I really want to make, like, I'm going to use the matte shades in here, but then add like a pop of shimmer using this. So, in this palette, this is a new Urban Decay Heavy Metals. This is limited edition, and also the shades in here are new and exclusive as well, so... You won't find these shades anywhere else from Urban Decay. I'm like blinding you guys. So it slides out from there. And a huge mirror. This is nice. I feel like you can just, you can hold this any way. It's not really, you have to be like a horizontal way to hold it. I, I like how you could hold it any way. And I really like how the very um, colorful shades are on this side and the natural shades are here, like the more gold tones and neutral tones. And here's like the crazy fun side. I like that. So I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys and let's see how pigmented these are. So right here we have the bottom, 
I always feel like I'm like freaking you guys off, but I'm not. Right here we have the bottom right corner of the palette, and this is acoustic. It is the silver metallic shade right there. And I feel like if this was wet a little bit, it would have been more shiny, but I mean, that's pretty nice, like, for what it is already. This one right here is a dark red, and it's called After Party. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like this. That's really nice. And it's this shade right here on the natural side. Okay, now I want to test out some really fun colors. This one is called AMP. I don't know if that's abbreviation or it's just AMP, but let's call it AMP. It's a weird name for an eyeshadow. Oh, I never heard that before. This is very nice. So cool. I would love to wear like the colorful shades in the summer and just be like, hi guys, um, metallic purple today. The shade is called Metal Head. I think that's so perfect for this shade. That is so cool. Ooh, and what shall we do next? I'm gonna try this black shade because I never really tried a you guys know I don't put anything remotely black on my eyes but this is more like a really dark blue so looks black in the palette but it is a grayish undertone but it's a dark blue that is that is really cool so we're definitely going to try out a lot of matte shades from the Too Faced palette but I also want to include a pop of color using the new Urban Decay metals. Other than that, this isn't completely, I know this one is not completely new, like it didn't just came out, but it's new to me and I'm excited to have it. And this one is so freaking cute. I want to put the pink one like literally everywhere. I just want to eat it. Oops, look at that. These are so new. These are pretty heavy, by the way. I didn't think my... This one is so old that I have, and it's really lightweight. Like, comparing the weight... Yeah, this is this feels like nothing, and this is just really, really heavy. This is so old and messy. Look. Look. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like. I don't like this anymore. So I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal so we can start the eyeshadow look. Hello. With my little CVS MUA brush, I'm going into the lightest shade of the palette called Why Not? And this is just to highlight right underneath the eyebrows. And just to give my eye a good base so we can start off with this look. Now there really isn't um, a transition shade in this palette, but I'm gonna go in with Coffee first, the middle shade right here, directly in the middle of the palette with my Luxie 205 Tampered Blending Brush. And there's actually not even like any fallout. I'm like, have to dig in there. This is gonna be really dark, but let's try, oh, actually no. This is very nice. So remember that story that I told you guys about how me and my boyfriend and his two friends went to the Halloween event near Halloween and I just got really sick and was like half passed out the whole night? I felt like that was going to happen today if I went out to this concert. And I hit up Julian and I was like, I cannot go. I feel like that's going to happen again. And I want to enjoy today with you instead of just being sick the whole night. And I don't want to be three hours away from home. So I think it was for the best that we sold these tickets. And I think, I mean, there's always, there's always going to be a concert. So it's not like we're missing 
out on every anything and I was just happy that he got his money back because I was feeling so guilty that we just spent so much money and we weren't gonna even get it back but I'm happy that we're staying home and just chilling for the rest of the day because I think that's what we both need he's starting to get sick too and I feel like it's my fault but I love you babe <laughs> next with my Luxie 227 blending brush I'm going in with snooze you lose and I'm just going to directly put that right in the line of my crease so it deepens up my crease a little bit and then we'll go in with a fun color at first I was really trying to like push myself to go to this concert but I was like Julie you're literally gonna have a box of tissues in the middle of the crowd blowing your nose and you can't even sing because you have no voice I was like what's the point of even going to hmm, with the Morphe M4 I'm not sure about this the Morphe M441 brush I'm going in to the bottom corner of the palette in Blueville right there. There's, there's like nothing that flips off the brush there's no fallout and I'm going to deepen out the outer V I get so scared putting dark colors on my eyes, I don't know why. Now going back in with the Luxie 227 blending brush, I'm going in with the same Bouville. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Bouville again, and I'm just going to... Deepen up the inner corner, just creating like a halo effect. Uh. I'm not gonna do this look often, it's really pretty. So what are your New Year's plans? Like what are you guys doing? Let me know. So last year, um, I didn't do much for New Year's Eve and it sucked. Like my day completely sucked. It was terrible. But this year, um, this year I'm planning it to be super, super, super duper duper lit. And I want to have fun with my baby, with my family. And then I just want to make the end of this year and the start of next year really memorable. And I don't, I just don't know what to like do for that day. I don't know any events that are going on. I don't really like to party. So like party meaning like, mm, I like to party when it's like my birthday. But I don't really like to go to any parties. I like to go to like events, um, sophisticated events. I feel like parties are just kind of trashy. That's just me personally. And I don't know what to do for this year, but I know I'm going to make the best out of it. And let me know what you guys are up to. Let me know what you guys are doing, what your plans are and what your new year's resolution is for me my new year's resolution which is always like a whole bunch of crap and i don't really follow them and to be honest i forget my new year's resolution by next week so what's the point of even thinking about one there's just always there's always success in my mind so whatever uh, like whatever makes me go forward and up i'll do it so there's no really New Year's resolution. I don't I don't really do that. But let me know what your New Year's resolution is. I'd like to know. Some are really cute. Like I wanna eat a cupcake every week. I wanna eat a cupcake every week. 
So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. little packet brush to go in with the lightest purple shade. Ooh, there's the fallout. Okay, and I'm gonna put that right on top of my lid. And then we'll go in with one of those metallic shades on top of that. I'm kind of just liking how this looks by itself. I don't think it needs the metallic shade. It would just look cool with it. But this by itself looks so pretty. So we're done with this palette now. Let's go in with this one. And let's see what this has to offer. I think I'm going to... Hmm... I think it would be cool to put the purple shade underneath my eyes, like my lash line. I don't know how that's going to look, but I'm willing to test it. I also got a new Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in spandex. And you can see it's like a sparkly blue. I don't think it's going to look... Um, I don't think it's going to go together with this eye look that I have, but I will swatch it for you guys. Ooh, it goes with the I think it's really pretty, but not with, I think it's really pretty, but not with the look that I'm going for today. Like, it's just this metallic blue and we're having like a purple mauve vibe right now. So next video for sure. With the same e.l.f. brush, I'm just going to spray it a little bit, a lot. And I'm going to go in with Metalhead, the one that I swatched for you guys before. And I'm just going to bring that right underneath my eyes and see how that looks. And then just blend that out with your outer V. So up close is a lot more fallout than I thought, but I can just put that away. I don't know if you guys can see that difference, but it's a little better now. Is that another freckle or oh it is the freckle. Hello! In this palette there's um maybe Elfie selfie. Let's see how this looks, but I'm looking for like an inner corner highlight and brow highlight, but let's see that doesn't hear what that looks like. Actually, that does look really pretty. It does look really pretty for, look it has like that little shine to it. It does look pretty for your inner corner. But there is almost the same shade in the metals palette. It's Glam Rock. Yes, Glam Rock. And I just want to try this out as well, right next to, yeah, this is way more silvery. You guys see that? Ooh. So I may do that one. I think I'm going to be a little bit risky and go in with the Glam Rock. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. I don't think you need to wet it. I wouldn't want it that shiny. Hmm. Ooh. Oh yes, that is nice. And um, I'm just gonna pop that too right here. Ooh. This just went from like cool toned fall look to intergalactic space glam. And I'm digging it. I'm fine being a glam alien. Oh, that is so nice. You guys see that? So I'm going to try out the highlighters using this glow kit. And let's take the plastic off. This is so luxurious. I love it. I'm going to use my Morphe 438 brush. And since we're doing purple, I'm going to try amber gold. Ooh, that is really pretty. Mm. 
it's not as pink as you would think on the face like it's like a light peachy glow that's just really nice and I want to test out the other pink from this sugar glow kit from Anastasia it's called starbursts oh my god the one above gumdrop is just so sparkly so pretty but starburst for some reason it just looks more matte like there's no there's no shimmers in it let's try that out on this side oh Ooh, this one this one's definitely reflective and with the cupid spell Oh wow, the Cupid's bow looks like, wow, it looks like lipstick. Ooh, it's crazy. Now it's time to try out this little mascara. I hope this is better than this one, the Better Than Sex Waterproof. I really liked how heavy, big, and the little 3D um, water crystals on top, that was a nice touch. But it was just so dry and clumpy to me using this. And it wasn't my favorite product. So let's see if this is the same. Yeah, it's the same shape of brush. I just hope that the formula is way better than this version. Now, let's try this mascara. I actually am pretty pleased with how this came out. I wish it would just lift up my eyelashes more, maybe because I didn't curl it on enough or like hard enough, but it, lo it looks pretty good to me. I like it. Wow. Look at that little guy. Get back there. <laughs> and for the lipstick, I'm going to be very bold and do Kylie Lip Kits in Court K. And let's start off with lining the lips. So this is the final look you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me test out new makeup. This for me was so exciting to try out because I love limited edition things in my collection. I think it's so cool to like look at something and say I have it before it not expired but like knowing that something is not in existence anymore and that you have it sitting in front of you that's that's pretty cool. So when this is no longer in the making i think it would be pretty cool to see that i have it and i will cherish this forever because this is so unique i don't think i have any palettes that are made this way and it's very different from everything else that i own and this is a really cool addition to my collection this palette as well is amazing i feel like this you could take anywhere it's so lightweight and tiny and like compared to my hand it's just the size of my hand and the amount of colors and shade variations that come in this palette is incredible. Like you can create any look out of these. Everything is so pigmented and there's absolutely no fallout at all, which is just awesome. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what are your New Year's plans and what you guys are up to. Leave a like down below and subscribe. Bye guys.